it is a beautiful day and I'm just about to water the container garden. I thought I would walk through here. It's August 12th, about 10.30 in the morning. And I just want to show you guys how everything is doing. I will keep this as short as possible because I know um, a lot of you already know what I'm growing. <laughs> so the sweet potatoes seem to be doing real well. I turned these last week so the other side could start getting some of that morning sun. It is still blooming. These are producing sweet potatoes most, most likely because there are some blooms down there. Excuse the background noise. I think we have a neighbor doing some construction. So <laughs> anyway, the wild cherry tomatoes are like tomato candy out here. I've just been picking loads of these. They're so sweet and wonderful. And then the top two tiers are full of peppers. They're looking real good. Hopefully those will be ripening up for me here in September. Um, these other two pepper plants, I usually have these down at the end, but I noticed some type of disease taking over both of these green stalks. And first time ever, I think I might lose uh, my pepper harvest this year, at least the red pepper harvest. I can harvest, uh, of course, all these bells at the green stage, no problem. But the disease I think that this has is called brown spot. It can be spread through the seed the soil or just through the air and it thrives in moist humid conditions which is all we had in July I mean it rained I think every evening so and plus these were down at the end where they weren't receiving as much air circulation as they would have if they were out here in the middle so hopefully um, they will recover I think we're going to have some drier days coming around here soon It'll be a little less humid. I've been spraying with different things to try to get it under control. And I'm just crossing my fingers. If the brown spot happens to start spreading to the fruit, as you see it here on the leaf, uh, if it starts to spread to the fruit, I will probably just go ahead and harvest everything and chalk it up to experience. <laughs> um, what that brown spot disease does is it makes all of your leaves fall off your plant. So I guess I've lost at least half of the leaves on here. And then your, of course your fruit would get sunburned and that kind of thing. So just crossing my fingers on those. And then over here we have uh, basil going to seed. Then I have a lot more basil. I've planted more cucumbers. I originally planted some bush beans I think in a couple of different of the um, green stalks but they did not germinate the seeds were old so I bought some new seed but I'm planting that in other areas and I planted cucumbers over here instead so I have some cucumbers coming in looking pretty good so over here no nasturtiums I have a couple of empty pockets I'll need to go ahead and start planting something in those uh, I said some more nasturtiums, lots of cucumbers. I'm probably going to go ahead and pull out the cucumber plants in both of, well, in all of my green stalks and plant spinach. This is the time of year I usually plant spinach. Uh, we have turnip greens. I've been really enjoying all of the turnip greens I've harvested. They grow so easily. And then down here, parsley looking pretty good. Um, of course, the leeks. Over here is one of the green stalks I cleaned out. I did put a couple of cucumbers on the top. We'll see if they have enough time to produce fruit before my first frost in mid-October. I know it starts to cool down a lot in September and cucumbers usually like a little bit of those warmer temperatures during the day. Uh, and all of this is arugula. I've noticed the cabbage butterfly has been um, laying her eggs on my baby arugula. So I'm going to get out my insect cover and I'll put that on here and protect my arugula from um, the worms. I'd rather just put a barrier on here um, instead of spraying, which you spray BT for worms. But like I said, I have an insect cover, so I'll put that on there. And then of course the sweet potatoes are doing pretty good here. I've just left these outside. I have a new plant here and I hope to bring that indoors over the winter. It's called Pondon or Pandan. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but it's used a lot in um, especially Thai cooking or Asian cooking in desserts. It has kind of a vanilla flavor. And then down here, of course, the ginger looking real good. It just really has taken off. It loves its new container here. And then the tarragon over there. 
and then more sweet potatoes over here and then another green stalk I moved it over here has some cucumbers growing up there and I think I planted some more arugula I grow three arugulas per pocket and so I'll need to thin this one here okay I've thinned the other ones already more cucumbers over here and a lot more of the little tomatoes I'll go through here and get these in just a few minutes after I show you guys everything over here I planted cilantro as we have cool temperatures just around the corner and your cilantro likes the cool temperatures so that took a while for those to germinate at least 10 days now I have a video on how I grow cilantro if you want to check it out I'll leave you a link okay and here's my final green stock a lot of nasturtiums that are actually starting to produce seed which I will save for next year let me see if I can show you one there's one right there okay and I did a video on how to grow nasturtiums as well so if you ever want to grow them you can check out that video maybe it'll help you get started all right and then over here I have a lot more cucumbers these are the little Persian ones and I'm going to go ahead and harvest these as well. You can see I have a lot of those back there. So I'm going to grab those for a salad. And I'm going to pull those out. And I'm going to plant spinach where those cucumber plants are. So that is the green stock. So I'm going to water some things. Do some harvesting. And there you have it. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And thanks so much for watching. Have a beautiful day.